you're the hero everyone's been talking about. Perhaps you could help a poor, simple farmer out of a terrible mess? At the edge of my orchard, well, just south of here, there's a horrible thing swelling out of the ground. I can't get to my crops or my bales of hay, and my poor cows will starve. The witch gave this to me and said that it would blast that thing out of my field. If you could destroy it, I would be forever grateful. I do it myself, but someone has to stay here with the cows. We have long lain dormant, and the time to awaken has come. After our long sleep, we are filled with great hunger. Soon now we shall feed. Thank <laughs> you. 
I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you?
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. for you.
I sense a soul in search of answers. shall be defiled, and our brood shall overrun the fields that men call home. Our tendrils shall envelop this world, and we will feast on the flesh of its denizens. Man shall become our chattel and sustenance.
What ails you, my friend? Whoa! What can I do for you? Oh, my God. 
I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? I gotta pawn some of this stuff.
I heard the explosion from here! Many thanks to you, kind stranger. What with all these things coming out of the ground, monsters taking over the church and so forth, these are trying times. I'm but a poor farmer, but here, take this with my great thanks.
I sense a soul in search of answers. What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Tenderfell drinking geese? Well, what can I do for you? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. My grandmother often tells me stories about the strange forces that inhabit the graveyard outside of the church, and it may well interest you to hear one of them. She said that if you were to leave the proper offering in the cemetery, enter the cathedral to pray for the dead, and then... My grandmother often tells me stories about the strange forces that inhabit the graveyard outside of the church, and it may well interest you to hear one of them. She said that if you were to leave the proper offering in the cemetery, enter the cathedral to pray for the dead, and then return, the offering would be altered in some strange way. I don't know if this is just the talk of an old sick woman, but anything seems possible these days. Thank you. 